As you may already know, if you are a GoDot developer, it is super complicated to get a job is if uh, what you are trying to do is to apply through them uh, in LinkedIn, for example. Because if you look for GoDot developer, probably you won't find any, or you find these game developer roles, uh, you will see that in the programming languages that they ask to have and in the game engines, well, you probably won't see GoDot. Or you will directly find Unity developer positions. Once again, Unity developer. And even though it is quite uh, difficult, I was able to get into uh, some contract work uh, for something like two months uh, on Godot. Um, probably already some of you know, know me from SEMA that I created uh, these courses, 10 courses in total, that they add up to something like 25 hours of content. So this could actually have lasted for much more time than just two months. This could have lasted for six, eight, even 12 months. Uh, but well, I was able to fully commit to this project because I was super motivated. I loved the opportunity of teaching people how to use uh, Godot. And well, uh, you actually see here all the courses that I've uh, created. So yes, even though it is super difficult, I was able to get a job on this. Um, so I want to uh, tell you the story about this and uh, how I was able to get this um, for you maybe uh, in order to help you a little bit in your search. Now, first of all, something that I really want to make clear is that in my experience, and if you actually look up on your own uh, in any forum, in any other YouTube video, you will indeed see this that I mentioned, that uh, having a, a job as a Google developer is super complicated. If you look in LinkedIn, in Google in general, if you try to reach out to companies, etc., they, they either use a Unity or Unreal, mostly, in, in, in the most cases. So if you actually want to find like a lot of jobs related to a uh, game development, if you actually want to work like in a formal studio or company that have been creating games for a long time, probably at least now, uh, maybe Godot is not the best choice because uh, companies have been using Godot for such a long time, uh, sorry, they have been using Unity for such a long time that basically switching their team up and uh, having to start from scratch with an engine that they have not used uh, never before or not for such a long time as they have used Unity, it is going to be like super time consuming and resources consuming. Uh, so for most companies, it is not worth it. Of course, maybe the situation in the future hopefully changes and more um, companies uh, start asking for Godot's experience, but well, right now that's the reality. So how can you do this? Uh, or well, how did I do this? So everything has to do with uh, my YouTube channel because um, my YouTube channel helped me actually reach uh, to, to other companies, to, to other um, clients that maybe um, were seeking some kind of Godot uh, developer or some position related to Godot. So at least my, my main way of getting a Godot job was through this YouTube channel. Um, I am not going to show the conversation, of course, because of privacy reasons. But uh, for example, uh, how everything started out is that suddenly I received an email. How did I got my email? Because it is in the description of my videos. Um, and also here it is on the about me section. So basically a, a, a person reached out to me and asked me that at first he just wanted to do a promotion of uh, the website. And in this case, the website was uh, Zemba. Basically it's one of the biggest uh, course uh, websites out there. As you can see, it has more than 300 courses. It has more than 1 million learners and it has courses on literally every single thing about programming and game development. It's huge, the catalog that they have. So I, I actually I actually have been knowing this platform for like four years. So when they actually reached out to me, I felt I, I felt like quite proud of myself that they wanted at first to just partner for uh, some uh, YouTube videos that I will show you right now. So in this video over here, we partner. We also partner in uh, one video more or two videos more. I don't really remember. Um, but well, over here I include the short sponsored uh, segment over here, um, which basically well here we got an advertisement. So well, basically here I was sponsoring uh, the platform, so I created this short sponsor segment. And well, at, at first I thought that uh, that was everything that was going to happen. Uh, however, note how this video was about uh, how to learn Google Mobile in just something like eight minutes. Um, so what happened is that when this person, um, the CEO of Semba actually, uh, basically saw this video and maybe analyzed more the channel, the, the kind of tutorials and free courses that I created, 
Remember, Semba is a, a course creation platform. Uh, so you have here a Godot courses, Unity courses, Game Maker courses, Unity courses, etc. Uh, so basically, they love the, the style that I got in terms of explaining things, of speaking in front of the camera, etc. Uh, so basically, uh, he told me, hey, do you want to make some uh, contract work with us in terms of course creation? If so, let's schedule a meeting and we can discuss more details. So everything sounded amazing and we ended up uh, working together. And not only that, but then uh, when we finished creating all these courses, once again, 10 courses in just two months, because I was fully committed to this project, um, we also started creating some Game Maker courses. In this case, I couldn't create as many courses as in Godot, um, because basically um, I had to learn Game Maker. I, I, before this, I hadn't ever used a Game Maker, so I had to learn it from scratch. But well, even though that, in spite of that, sorry, um, I was able to create uh, seven courses in two months, 22 hours of content. So it was quite a good mark as well. And also another thing that unfortunately I am not going to, I am not able to show you because it is a private conversation with somebody. A couple of days ago, thanks to my LinkedIn profile that I'm, I always have here the open to work uh, badge, uh, unless I have already like a project going on that I cannot commit 100% to a uh, other project. I am always posting here, so you can see I do have like, let's say an interesting following. It is much more complicated to gain followers on LinkedIn than on YouTube, of course. Um, but well, I, I was, I am always posting here new stuff. Uh, right now, not a lot, but well, um, I use like to post here a lot of things, quite useful um, extracts from uh, my videos, etc. I even got a LinkedIn post here that got like 2000, uh, 200 likes or, or something like that. I don't really remember. Let me... Let me find it uh, for you. It was quite close to uh, here. Well, as you can see here, I even posted these tales that got interesting uh, likes. Um, so for example, here, 59 likes, 40 likes, and here, 227 likes. So this actually led to a lot of Godots and Unity developers knowing my profile, maybe following me. So a couple of days ago, a, a person reached out to me and told, and told me, uh, we are looking for Godot developers, part-time job, I don't know, what else? Ah, well, basically we are talking about that opportunity. Um, so what's my main point here? If you really want to find a job as a as a Godot game developer, uh, until right now, the, the only ways that I found uh, that I was able to actually get a, or actually find at least a job opportunity for Godot is through social media, mainly LinkedIn and YouTube. Now, LinkedIn, you can actually start building your page quite easily because you can just open up your profile and start posting stuff. You can start posting the certifications that you are getting, uh, some extracts from the video games that you are creating, and the exact same thing you can do on YouTube. Now, in YouTube, it is much complicated to uh, at least grow like to a massive following that can then contract you. Because in LinkedIn, the, the main aim of LinkedIn is to find a job and for recruiters to find people to work. And YouTube is more like entertainment. So here on YouTube, of course, there are much uh, less fewer recruiters than on LinkedIn. So my biggest advice is to right away open your LinkedIn account. You can use mine as a template. Of course, it may not be perfect, but it was worth it for me. Um, write a good about me section. Um, you can feature here some of the posts that you have. For example, here, when I reach 8,000 subscribers, this thing of the work at Semba that I got, this viral post that I got, Post frequently, something like three, four times a week with something that is actually useful. Do not post four times a week like the certificates that you're getting. Actually post tips for game development, more specifically tips for Godot development if you are a Godot developer. So anything like that that can help you target Godot recruiters or Godot developers. And of course, fill up your experience over here. And if you have any certification in Godot, you can also add it over there. And finally, in the projects, make sure that you also add uh, your, your most relevant uh, go to the projects, maybe um, the best uh, three or four would be more than enough. And if you have even more interesting projects to showcase, do it. But yes, I don't think that uh, at least right now, you're not going to be able to find the job just applying for them on LinkedIn or similar platforms because there are, there are just no offers. Uh, so you have to be like a little bit more compromised into finding them and you will really have to try even harder. So yes, focus mainly on LinkedIn and if you can reproduce those pieces of content into long form or even short form content for your YouTube channel, do it. But well, yes, bear in mind that uh, building a YouTube channel 
Uh, in the long term is of course amazing, but in the short term, if you right now want to uh, actually get a job, it is much complicated, much more complicated because as you can see, I have been posting videos for two years and it wasn't until like six months ago that I got a good job. Um, so it can really take a lot of time. So this is all that I have to do, that I had to, tol to tell you, sorry. Uh, and I hope that all these tips have been helpful. I hope we can see each other on the next video and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel uh, to, to always learn more stuff about Godot, jobs, etc. See you in the next one and bye bye.